Welcome or welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me today. We are going to set up Photoshop basically so that all of the window bits look like my other videos. <laughs> that hopefully is going to be easier for some of you guys to follow along and it also makes editing super efficient. So yeah, like I've just said, basically we're gonna organize our workspace so that we can do efficient editing because genuinely it does make all of the difference. And to start, uh, basically I've just gone onto a workspace that is nothing like what I would normally use. We need to go up to the top of the Photoshop menu bar here and choose window. Within window, go for workspace and click essentials default. When you've done that, you'll see some windows probably appear. You might already be in Essentials, that's fine. Go back into Window Workspace and then do Reset Essentials. That will just reset your window so that you've got everything that I have over here. Now, for now, basically, we're gonna do a bit of reorganization with things. And one of the first things that we do is head up into the top section, which is about colors go for the little three, is it three? Not four, four lines and do close tab group. That removes that tab group from up there. Then click on adjustments and within adjustments, go back for those four lines and select close. That removes that. So therefore at the top, you should now have properties and libraries. If you don't use libraries, that's fine. I do, personally. I have my logo and all of the bits and bobs within this section here. I also have all of my other clients <laughs> all organized within there. So that's up to you if you want libraries, that's your call. I then head up to window and in the list select actions because if you have any actions, you do need those to be easily available and therefore I have my actions that I've made myself which speed up all of my workflow and some luminosity masking actions as well within this section. If your actions look like this, then don't panic. Just go into the four dots again and select button mode. Button mode will make that look like this and therefore you just click stuff to have things happen. Down in the bottom here, you will have layers, channels and paths. Realistically, we don't need paths because we're not operating on illustrations, so therefore four dots and close. That leaves you with channels, which you will need if you're doing luminosity masks, um, but other than that, you just have your layers panel with all of your layer adjustments. Within this section here, you will also have your history. So your history section is here. I also do tend to have a couple of other things in here. So I also add into there clone source for if I need to alter the rotation of a clone source. And I usually also have in there um, paragraph and character because I do also um, sometimes do text work but again you wouldn't need to include those but you'll often see them on the side of my screen. I have been doing one-to-ones recently with some people who actually moved the side toolbar panel to this side. Now you can just click drag and drop and um, that leaves you with all of your controls at one side of the screen. This is an option for a lot of people because it means that you're moving around your screen a lot less. You can also move all of these to this side too and everywhere else if you need to. The next thing that I do is always right click on the background color over here. Default should be the gray and you should have some other options. Within custom, sometimes custom is a bright blue. I have custom set to be white. And to do that, right click on the background, do select custom color, and then make sure that that is right up there at the top. 255, 255, 255, or six Fs within that section. That will get everything up there for you. Within the preferences of Photoshop, you have a lot of other options here. And to be fair, I don't really mess with these much at all, <laughs> really. In terms of the cursors though, this is my settings for my cursors. So I use a normal brush tip um, within this section and then my other cursors are standard, not precise. I just prefer to be able to see 
stuff and this makes me see things a lot easier so that is in that section and then everything else is pretty much kind of as normal nothing else really changes but that will cover off hopefully a lot of my original sort of bits and bobs. This was a bit of a random very short video for you guys today. I hope it's been useful. If it has please do remember to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon. The bell icon will help you out because it gives you a notification every single time I upload a video. I upload every week and sometimes more than that if I feel like it and if I have time. <laughs> I'll see you all again really 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 soon.